Uh, next up to just do a, a presentation also for about a couple of minutes is uh, the Way Up Consultancy. Uh, Sister Helen, please give her a round of applause as she comes to spend about two minutes or so just to share a bit about what she does and how we can tap into. And then after that, we'll have the acknowledgement, closing prayer, and we can all go home and, um, yeah, be blessed. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Okay. Has anybody had fun today? Yes. Is anybody taking away anything from here yes. that is going to transform your life? Okay, it's not just another show. It is something, you know, there's something for everybody young, old, a child, everyone. Okay, I want to thank the Bofers family. You are very wonderful and special people. Uh, I'm here to tell you about my what I do, but I wasn't scheduled to tell you about what I do because I do a lot of stuff, okay? But this minute, because we have, a, we, have we are constrained with time, I'm conscious of it, and I'm going to be praying for the Bovell family. I want us to see the Bovell family as a sailor, okay? There's a story, a story of a sailor. This sailor went out with his son and, if, and uh, his son's friend. That's who they are right now. Michael, as he's popularly called, whoever happens to have had a chat with him, you find out that he's ever smiling. True or false? He never stops smiling. He's always smiling. And when you ask him, because I was one of the few last people that had some quality time with him on the last day. Okay? And when you ask Michael, what do you like doing, son? He will say, Auntie, I just want to help. I just want to help. He always want to help. How many young person? Do you ask such a question and he will tell you, I want to help? Not very many. Is that true? He always say, I want to help. Because, okay, how do you want to help? We say different ways. Anyhow, anybody wants to help. And I'm saying what he wanted to do, that help he wanted to give, that is what he's doing now. He couldn't go around helping every one of you. <coughs> he couldn't go around to do it. So what he did was to bring this about, whereby you can hear people like uh, Action Jackson, you can hear Omar, you can hear Lauren Cato, you can hear Eva Omni, you can hear many, uh, uh, Diane, many people that have come here today. And you cannot say that you haven't taken anything away from what they have said or shared today. Yes, that is how he is helping. That's what he wanted to do. Okay, now back to the story of the sailor. The sailor went out uh, with his son and his son's friend. And all of a sudden, there was a storm, <coughs> terrible storm. And then the boat capsized. As good as he was, he couldn't save it. And he looked, what do I do? I've got two young people drowning. Who do I save? My son? or my son's friend. He had very, less than two minutes to decide, or seconds. He had one line, and one line can only save one person. And you know what he did? He said to himself, my son already knows the Lord. He is saved. And if he is to pass on, he will not spend eternity with Satan, which is what we are all going to try to avoid at the end of today. Every one of us, we have to say we are not going to spend eternity with Satan because hell is real. Okay? It is not virtual. It's real. So, and he said, but his son's friend does not know Jesus. So if he dies, he's going to go to hell. And guess what? He threw the line over to the son's friend and he saved the son's friend he saved the son's friend is that making sense yes. that's exactly what happened Michael knows or he knew the Lord he was saved 
But he had so many friends that didn't know the Lord. And he didn't know how to go around telling everybody that, you know what, you need to give your life to Christ. And he felt, I was going to do it in the way that every one of his friends will come to hear what you are all hearing today. And even more, because God has done it in such a way that his parents will continue to carry this message forward to stop another young person from drowning. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's what happened. Michael is, is, is out there in eternity smiling just the same way he's, he made it to heaven. Because on that very last day, he came to church right here with his Bible. And he was one of the only young persons that said he was going to evangelize out of the 12 people that put up their hands on that day. Phenomenal. <coughs> Phenomenal. And I'm sure a lot of you, his friends, do not even know that about him. He was zealous for the Lord. And he wanted to get that message across. He couldn't. He couldn't do it alone. He didn't know how. But this is how he's doing it today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. So what I want to say to all of you, you know, a lot of people have said it. In each of every one of us, there is a seed. There is a seed. It can be, it can, it can be used in different ways. It can come out in different ways. And that seed becomes a product which you, you know, which will be consumed by consumers. So what we've all said is you have a purpose in life and you have to shine. You have to seek it. And it's easy to seek. Don't think it is not easy. It is very easy. Because the only thing that stops us from becoming who we are supposed to be is fear, the word F-E-A-R. Some people will spell it failure, expected, and result. You know, you expect it, you get the result of uh, false evidence appearing real. You know, different ways. But you can turn that fear into something positive. Why about fascinated, you know, getting fasc uh, fascinated about something you are going to get afterwards? Yes? Amen? Praise the Lord. So you are all powerful people. You are all unique. You are special. Say to yourself one more time, I am amazing. I am amazing. I am amazing. I am amazing. And I'm not going to die with my dreams. I will fulfill my dreams. I will not, the grave will not take any of my dreams or my talents. You know, they always say that the grave has more talents. And it will not take my. So I will live full and die empty. Amen. Amen.